Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP Wi-Fi projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to do multiple file uploads one by one in SAP Wi-Fi. This file upload is also called synchronous multiple file upload. And there are a few prerequisites like you should have a knowledge of JavaScript. You should have IDE access. The access can be of anyone like Business Application Studio or Web IDE. And then you need to have basic knowledge of SAP UI5. So before jumping into the video, uh, we would like to share this particular article. This article exactly follows the same concept that we are going to share in this particular video. So the idea is like you can just go to this article, view the all code, read the theoretical part, and just copy and paste the code to achieve the same output that we are going to achieve in this video. So we have mentioned everything here. And we have also added all the screenshots. So let's jump into the demo first. So we have created a very simple UI where we have given a title here. We have given a file uploader here and we have given a button by which you will be triggering the multiple upload. Also, we have given a message pop up where we can fetch all the error. So let's just start with drag and drop of some files. So these two files are there and we are going to just click on upload. So it looks the website is down. We'll just refresh once and try to once again upload the same files. You see, we saw a progress indicator and also we got two errors. So errors is something like, uh, you know, bad method. It means uh, the URL or something that we have mentioned is wrong. Certainly, we do not have any data where we are pushing it out. So let's jump into the code to understand what exactly is going on. So if you see the view, you have seen the title, right? You have seen the upload collection where you are dragging and dropping your files. And then you have seen two buttons. Button one is to multi upload, button two is to carry the messages, right? So, also you have seen something called a progress indicator. So, progress indicator is a UI5 element, and here we are setting the display value name. So, whatever the value is being displayed. So, if I show you the screenshot, it looks something like this. The title is here upload in progress, and then we have the percentage value that keeps on increasing based upon our file uploads or file process fine and also uh, these some these values are coming via global model so for that we have written something like this where we have given the upload percentage as zero and we have used the component file to set this model globally like this so these two files are for the model setting this file is for showing the indicator right the important file is the controller file in the very starting we have like taken few of the definitions like the busy indicator message box popover popover item so, popover item button all these we have used right so this is the popover and this is the popover item so these are the components that we have used also we have like uh, fetched a few default models and we have like binded it directly to the pop-up model these values are appearing initially when you, re you know, start to load a particular window so the length is empty the type is default it is not emphasized something like that so these things we have covered in the init part so init part mainly uh, like uh, is like a uh, constructor it means uh, you are feeding some default values so once you are done with feeding the default values so what you we are actually doing is like if i just go and showcase uh, other functionalities So we have a button called handle message popover press. So this is used to trigger this particular popover. So it is like if it is true, it will set it as false and the vice versa. And also we have some more functions where we are handling the file exceed method and we are clearing the notification on click of clear, something like this. So these all things like can be handled via these functions. 
So as of now, we are not focusing on any of these functions. We have mentioned all these functions just to showcase that you can actually control all the elements. So the function that we have to focus is called on multi upload submit. This is actually triggered via this particular button, right? So what happens? So here we are fetching or sending a fixed URL, the URL that will be used to upload your data. So we have given something like this hard coded data. That's why we are getting even error also. So we do not have to focus upon the error. We have to focus upon the paradigm. How exactly the code is working. So we have a form data percentage and upload URL. These are the values we are setting initially. Also, whenever you press the button, the busy indicator will turn on so that uh, you know the upload process can start. So this part of functionality is majorly used when you have to upload multiple files one by one and those files can be heavy files so that your server does not break. So keeping these things in mind, we are doing these functionalities. So now here what we are checking is like the what exactly is being shown in the progress indicator. So as of now initially we are setting the value as zero and then we keep increasing the value. So then we are just opening the progress indicator. This is the only part that we are doing. So now the progress indicator is has opened up. We see do we have files so the files are there. We then pass all the files one by one in the form of an array to the form data file and we just append that particular thing here and then we perform something called a JAX call right so what we are doing we are sending our data in the back end we are passing the form data fine and if you if you have seen that we are sending the index so as of now if you see the index value is zero right it is the first file that we are sending so here also the first file will be fetched and sent to the server and then we simply perform a simple ajax call this particular ajax call is async not sync but uh, it does not matter because our whole system will make it sync it will be a synchronous call how so in this particular ajax call we have a method called put then the url is the data url data will have the form the first file and uh, then also we will have something called headers this is the header that is now mandatory in SAP UI5 in case you are performing create, update, and delete. So you read it during the read call, the tokens, and pass it here. So once you get a success or error, so these are the only two possibilities, right? Either you will get success or you will get an error. Both of these functionalities, what we do is like we do pass the particular value back to the system. So what exactly happens is like you create a success data if the file upload is succeeded then you pass it to the popover model right and how exactly it happens like popover model is all empty and you see if previously you had any value or not if no values were there you will just pass the success data in case the value was there you pass the success data and concatenate with the previous value so again, this is something we have already covered in popover video. So you can focus in that video. So we are again not going to focus on this popover part. So this is the entire part where we are just you know pushing the values to the popover. So for success and for error, both time. So if your particular call will fail, the same thing will perform here also. So till now we have performed one backend call, right? And we have got one success or one error either of them and we have pushed the message into popover so till now we have achieved these functionality now in the end you will see we are doing one more thing so we are increasing the percentage of the indicator so for that we have a small mathematical calculation where we are getting the index it is zero adding one and dividing the content file length that is two right we have two files so if the particular file is processed so 50% is completed in our case the 50% indicator will be all, all like uh, automatically covered right and uh, after that the same data will be set in the model and it will be shown in the UI and then this thing is the part where we are actually recalling the method so what we do we are calling the method the entire method once again and 
updating the index so what will like this is the part done in the error one right same thing we have done in the success also same functionality passing the entire file with one index so what will happen now by default it will call this particular method once again initially it was triggered by the view right in the view we have button and that time no index came it was zero this time index came so it will check if the index is there which is one right and then it will just uh, pass the second value so array has zero and one like the array starts from zero so the for zero the first file was sent for the value index one second file will be sent and the entire ajax call will be performed once again so this is the way that we actually make a call synchronous we are passing the form data one by one so we'll go to the ui once again i will do a refresh now what i will do is like i will run my code in in debugging mode so let me just uh, make it like this fine i will go to console clear it up i'll go to sources i will search for my file main controller and i will put a debugger here and i will drag and drop all my files one by one fine i'll click upload so we'll see the values first of all index index is not defined we are not sending anything in index so if index is not defined index value will be sent as zero right and the progress indicator will start we do not have to worry regarding it it is started right now the content length is two because there are two files right and also the index value is less than the content length so this is actually helping us to find out when to end the loop so now we'll go inside and uh, and uh, if you can see that we are passing the zero value here so the first file will be fetched now the form data is having the first file that is image right image is the first file second file will be text so now we are just going to call simple ajax we'll add a success and error debugging the calls will fail for me because my url itself is wrong because i am passing this url right so it doesn't make a sense to get a success ever so in your use case whenever you will be using actual o data if you are going to use actual o data dot create call the thing is that you have to catch success and error and do the call once again of your entire function that that's the only idea so i will just click play the the you know uh, particular call failed and it will add it in my popover if you see the popover might become blue the value has increased now i'm going to call my own function one once again this time index will be sent as one so let me just click play and keep coming here index is one so this particular part will be jumped out right and this time again it will check if the length is less than one actually less than two so yes it is less than two so it will do the call once again and once again it will fail fine and this time again the same thing will happen so for two files it has failed and if i go down let me just add one more debugger here so we have already processed the loop twice right the calls if you can see here went one by one and uh, if i go back here in the sources i will play it once again this time it will jump out because we have already ran, ran the entire program twice so now if the program is ran it will again like close the functionality of the progress indicator it will make it 100 percent 
and you have to close the dialog box. So this way, the entire functionality work for one by one call. So just to showcase once again, what I will do, I will try to click the button upload once again. I will click the network. I will click upload, and I will go to network. Just showcase that the call will go one by one. Okay, let me just refresh it because you know the array is empty. So fine. So let me just uh, load the files. Click upload. It is cached. So I need to perform. The network is cleared twice. So if you see the first call has failed, only one call went and it failed. Now again I will try to execute the code and then the second call happened and it also failed. The calls are happening one by one. So in our previous video we have created a similar program looking similarly like this but the call was asynchronous. The calls were going all together in one shot. So that's the only difference that we are having between synchronous and asynchronous. The call goes one by one in synchronous and in asynchronous the call goes in one shot. Both calls or multiple 10 calls, 100 calls will go all together in the back end. So I believe you might have understood the entire process. You might have understood the coding concept, how exactly we have achieved it. And in case of any issue, you can always drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much.